Hi yo lovelies, we're gonna do something fun today. I've been wanting to do this idea for a while. So basically step one, say hello. Already failed step one, hello. And then say, wanna all go to mid and exchange scary stories. Bam. All right, so we're gonna see if people actually say yes. <laughs> so I've been trying to see if Bed Wars players will willingly go to mid and then exchange scary stories, and then we fight. This game appears like nobody is willing to go to mid, so we're just gonna have to play properly, I guess. <laughs> All right, time to try this again. Mid to tell scary stories. Everybody wants to play. <gasps> oh my gosh, someone said sure. Yay. We gotta go to mid. We gotta go to mid. We're going to mid, boys. If this goes well, we only have to do one thing. All right. <gasps> no. I am at mid. <laughs> no. Okay, let's find someone. Okay, yellow. Yellow. Scary story time. Scary story time. <laughs> Why do I always end up cross teaming in these vids? I promise I'm not. Like, I'll kill him. Okay, this one time I was on my phone with my friend. Yeah. And I heard someone sneeze when he was home alone. <gasps> oh. Hearing someone sneeze when you're home alone is scary. Okay, my turn. One. I'll protect you! I give up. The lag is so strong. Red, do you have a scary story to share? Scary story? <laughs> I have a scary story. Once there was a block that broke your bed <laughs> and then killed you. Scary, right? Bye! <laughs> Ruined my combo. Sorry, I cleaned, but it makes for a good scary story. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Nope. See ya. <laughs> Did my friend die on- oh, Tell me a scary story. <gasps> Tell me a scary story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a person named Brick and they killed you. Okay, scary story completed. Blue. Tell me a scary story. Okay, okay, I have one for you. Once there was a player named Brick and they stole your bed. Uh-huh, you kill me, yay. <laughs> this guy's annoyed with me. Oh. Do tell. Dang, that is scary. I don't think I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> fun. This is fun. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for sharing scary stories with me. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I liked that. That was good. I'm gonna let that game go. That was fun. And then I'll just share some scary stories for my, of myself. Okay, so I, I live right next to a wooded area. There's always some weird noise noises at night. Like sometimes I'll just be sitting doing homework late at night and I'll hear the weirdest sounds from outside. And it's like footsteps. And it's night at five in the morning and I'll just randomly hear footsteps. <laughs> he hasn't- he's trying to hit me back with a knockback stick. What a fool. And I remember one time the footsteps were really prominent. It was like right outside of my window. 
and my window's right next to my computer where I normally will do my homework. It was terrifying. And I remember hiding underneath my desk because of how I was legit scared that someone was outside of my house. Because there's been instances where sometimes I'll look outside of the window of my living room and see flashlights outside. I don't know if people are back there in the woods just hanging out, but it's definitely spooky. <laughs> this one time I was, I was on the couch watching YouTube. My dad was in his office and my mom happened to be nearby. Okay, here we go. And then all of a sudden you hear this scream. Like, it was a legit scream. It was coming from outside in the woods. And literally my neighbors went outside as well because they were so spooked. And my mom went outside and I, I was like, what is that sound? And when we went outside, it stopped. And my neighbors from next door looked over and they were like, what was that? Trying to f get answers. <laughs> Hello? Okay, there we go. It was really weird. Like, to this day, we still don't really know what it was. If it was like an animal that was getting hurt, or if it was a person. But it was definitely creepy. <laughs> he has a ladder. <laughs> Okay. For the viewers. Oh my gosh. Another time I was driving home from work from Jimmy John's. I used to do night shift. I don't anymore. Bye. I would say it was about 10 o'clock at night by the time I was driving back home. And this is like a highway area in the woods. You couldn't really see anything besides like the road. And... Uh oh, did I have minor fatigue? All good. You wanna get my bed and meet at mid. Also, I think that was nice of him to offer me a free one, so might as well do something kind in return. But I was driving home, and from the corner of my eye, I saw a lady walking down the street. And this was like a highway sort of area. So I was really confused as to like why there was a random chick walking down the street and I remember what she was wearing so clearly she was wearing a light like it actually looked a lot like that color right there it was that color of blue and she was wearing a jacket of that color with jeans and she was walking away from me so I couldn't see what shirt she was wearing but she definitely had long brown hair in the back and I when I blinked she wasn't there anymore and I was like that's really weird and I memorized that spot from where I saw the lady walking. And the thing about where I work is sadly there's a lot of accidents out there, so every so often you'll see, like, not graves, but little memorials for the people who died in car crashes. I memorized where, where she was. Huh? Is that a power bowl? <laughs> nice. Okay, this uh, this battle's epic. <gasps> no! Come on! <laughs> that was good. Gee, good fight. That was awesome. <laughs> and so there's usually people who die there often, and you'll see little memorials on the side of the road that say drive safe with a, uh, with like flowers next to it. 
And when you drive back and forth to work uh, almost five days a week, you tend to memorize little milestones. And I memorized the little milestone from where I saw her. And the next day when I drove back to work in the morning, there was a, there was a memorial where I saw the girl. But out of the corner of my eye, I'd always see someone in my sister's room when she wasn't there. And it still happens to this day where I'll walk by my sister's room and I'll see like this random girl and I'm like, oh, my sister's home. And then I'll look over into her room instead of out of the corner of my eye and my sister's not in there. And I'm sitting here like, who is in my sister's room? And it happens all the time where I'll think my sister's in her room, but she's not. I hope, I hope you guys can sleep at night. Anyways, bye guys. Thank you guys so much for loving. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.